TikTok is live as well. Hey guys. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday. All right, uh, let's get down to business here. I've got hot dogs and Cheetos alongside these little hot dog uh, cheese cups. If you wanted to know what uh, a hot dog and cheese looks like in the form of a cupcake, that's it right there. I was gonna do something. With, <laughs> I was gonna do something with SpaghettiOs, but because I know we have them. Uh, I'm really, really low on calories tonight, but that's okay. I had some chocolates and I had some steak uh, when I got home from work tonight. You had chocolates? Well, I gave Isabella one, and then I gave my mom one, and then I had one because I didn't want <laughs> there only <laughs> to be just one. one left. Yeah. Hello, Janet. Hi, Paisley. Hello, How are you... Paisley. Hello, Janet. How are you, you guys ladies. doing tonight? Hello, Marie. Hi, Marie. How are you, girl? Anybody that will sit there and tell you that what's Kathy eating? Hold on. They're not going to enjoy some hot dogs and Cheetos with cheese. I think you're crazy. Kathy, I'm sorry, I didn't even. No, it's okay. Somebody asked. So, I have stuffed chicken. The chicken. Oh, I can't hold it up too long. It's really hot. So I have green beans, obviously, and then my chicken is stuffed with um, ricotta cheese. Mozzarella cheese, onions, mushrooms, and roasted red peppers. This topped, is... All topped with tomato sauce and mozzarella. This is not my originally planned dinner, only because um, I had purchased Alfredo sauce, and the seal is broken on the Alfredo sauce, because this is supposed to be all Alfredo. So now it turned into chicken parm. It's probably better off that it's not there. But I mean, I know Alfredo sauce is good, but... This would have been way better with Alfredo. Oh, and spinach. Spinach as well. Sauteed spinach. I forgot that part. What do you do to burn so many calories during the day? I have a very active uh, job. So I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly um, jumping and, and lifting and sometimes struggling with these damn animals. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then I, I come home and I run. So that's why I burn so many calories. But, I, but here's the thing. Uh, my like my dinners during the week are low calorie i don't go over 2500 calories usually usually i'm not i'm not going over 25 like this this meal right here is like 1700 calories and that's me being generous so i mean if i were to add the steak and i were to add the chocolate i had today probably looking at 2200 so that gives me your rough Estimate of 4,000 calories that I'm saving for the weekend. Tomorrow night for my pizza. <clears throat> my cookie. Cookies. Cookie pie. Yeah, I think I'm going to do sausage and peppers. I'm going to have my mom ma uh, make sausage and peppers. What's up, Brady? Captain Zoic, are you from Canada or U.S.? I'm going to throw a curveball here. Hello, Brady. Russia. <laughs> I'm joking. Pay attention to the I'm accent. joking, I'm joking. What do you... Hello, Cheryl. Yeah, well, that accents mean nothing. <clears throat> Who's to say I'm not Canadian that moved to America? Hey, MB. You know, accents don't always Hello, mean Hello, Noreen. Everyone. First no? of all, my accent's not going to lie. You could be from, like, a very hood area of Canada. <laughs> yeah, um, with the New York I don't, accent. A lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people do think we're Canadian. I don't know why. People think we're Canadian. Hello from Washington State. Hello, Amber. Well, hello, <laughs> Amber. How are you, girl? I have a, I have a cookie. I have an oaky accent, and I'm from Cali. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with with an oaky, uh, an oaky accent, right? That's a fresh. Any Jim Ross fans? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, you know who I start? Listen to this. I listened to, I got, I found a new, mm -hmm. hi Debbie, I found a new podcast today. Ric Flair has a new podcast out with Mark Madden. I listened to it. It's pretty entertaining. What's up, Prissy? Greetings, JK. What's up, Haya? Hello. AKA Hello, Walter. How are you tonight? Mm -hmm. Hello, Walter. Heck, you should get into some podcasts, like listening to, his, to, to, to instead of music for your runs. Or your, your, uh, your My exercise. watch usually consists of talking to Jimmy Jam. 
or a scroll like through TikTok? Eat a hot dog really fast, please? No. Number one, that's dangerous. I could choke, right? Uh, number two, I only oh, have hiccups, that's okay. I only have four hot dogs and Cheetos mm. and these little hot dog cups. I, I don't want to rush my meal because I don't have a lot. If I'm really hungry though, I have more my, I have more hot dogs that I could give a quick microwave uh, and then be able to eat that. Did you listen to Joe Rogan and Snoop Dogg? I did. I li well, I listened to only an hour of it. I forgot all about that. I was supposed to, I was supposed to uh, resume where I left off from last night's run. I thought it was good. I thought I thought I, lo I loved the beginning when Snoop's giving him like the sweater and he's giving him the CD. Watch next UFC fight. You're gonna see Rogan ro rocking all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't shock me. How many hours do you jog per night? I run about an hour. I'm not choking. I had hiccups. Hour, 10 so minutes. I Sometimes more. I was holding my breath to prevent me from a <gasps> every single time I talk. So I was not choking. Beers, but thank you for your concern. Beers, I appreciate it. Beers 1229. How, how fun are y'all? We're pretty fun. I think we're pretty fun. We have, but, but here's the thing. With, with fun comes fights. And we fight a lot. We fight like cats and dogs. Uh, it was pretty good, but it was a big promotion stunt for Snoop. Yeah, I noticed that. I know. It, who cares, though? What am I eating? Are you asking me or asking Jamie? There you go. What's up, Mr. Jimmy Jim? Hey, let me read you Jimmy's intro. Jamie is from, as he likes to say, Canada, which I do. Uh, Calgary, Alberta, to be specific. He spent quite some time up there with wonderful grandparents, Stu and Helen. They were awesome. God bless their souls. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy Jam, welcome to the room, my friend, my thunder buddy. How are you tonight, buddy? Hello, Jimmy Jam. Yeah, I love Rogan. I, I had to take a little bit of a break from him because some of the guests he was having was, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into him. And then he has Cam Haynes on. Uh, I think it was last week, and you know I listened to that like the, oh, the first say. day. Of why do you, you eat? To that one. Why do you eat so much? I don't. Did you hear more WWE superstars got released? I was just telling Khaki. Yeah, John Morrison. Hold on, Captain. What the hell's wrong with them? I don't know, and I don't care Hello, anymore. Hello, Court. How are you, ma'am? Captain, I have. Stuffed chicken parm. Stuffed chicken parm. It's stuffed with ricotta cheese, mozzarella, um, onions, mushrooms, and some spinach. One day to go, then the weekend. Yep. Work tomorrow. Yep. Hello, Noreen. Uh, doing well. Message Khaki today. Showed her what Chicago Italian beef sandwiches look like. Aside from that... Just doing my best bro man expression and have been chilling all day. Yeah, I said <coughs> nice. I said your sandwich looked good. Two it Jimmy's? Looked good. Yeah. It did look good. Well, I uh I came home from work and I got home around, I don't know, six o'clock ish. And I went right upstairs and I went into the laboratory and I started working on uh, a couple things. One being my friend's headband that homemade I made. I did this. I think I'm very creative, and I also think that, uh, well, if you have something you're going to throw out or you're going to donate because it doesn't fit you anymore or you just don't like it, you can always make it into something else. And that's what I'm going to start doing. Hello, Mark. Name everything on Homeboy's tray. Homeboy's? I'm mine. I'm a... Well, obviously it's not me. I'm not a boy. Uh, that I don't even know of. Okay. <laughs> hot dogs, Cheetos, and hot dog cupcakes. I don't, know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna call them hot dog cupcakes. I'm gonna call them hot dog something though. How long did I bake my chicken for? Um, I put it in originally, like in the um, <laughs> like the Cornick like bakery dish, and it wasn't cooking fast enough, so I took it out. I put it in there for like 20 minutes. The top wasn't even like cooked. Hello, it Cheryl. Hi, Stephanie. Raw. So I took it out, put it on a baking dish, put it on like a baking like pan. Meal. 
cooked it for 20 minutes and then like another like 15 like after that just because i didn't want it overcooked no but I, i'm about to i'm about to try the hot dog cheese cups savvy looks great khaki that's coming from prissy stephanie did i say hello Aww, to you i think i said hello girl. to you favorite all-time donut mine's maple bar um my favorite donut cake batter for me from Krispy Kreme or uh, it's a toss-up I can't really choose between cake batter or Oreo have you ever had a bear claw no do you know what a bear claw is no never had one so how would I know what it is what's a bear claw I never had a threesome but I know what it is that doesn't count <laughs> have you had an apple fritter I love apple fritters. Okay, does it taste that, good? Yeah, that is my favorite. Oh, so you've had that. So, yeah, that what's a bear claw? That is my favorite. Claw? What's a bear claw? I don't claw? know. I was asking you. I okay. heard someone talking about it. Never had a bear claw. I love the headband. Thank you very much, Cass. <laughs> I love your name. Cass loves pizza. Bear claws are... Okay, Cortland knows what a bear claw is. Yeah, so what is it? What is it? Court, enlighten us. What is a bear claw? I was, I was quick to my feet on that threesome thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it was. <laughs> Sometimes I He's about my... to catch a cat claw. <laughs> and he don't want that shit. Trust me. <laughs> uh, we need to unmod all the mods that have in That have incognito. incognito. Let's start with beans and peat. Are they in here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't your best Vinnie Mac impression. You're like, you're fried. Who's Vinnie Mac? Vince McMahon. You said Vinnie Mac. You can do your best Vinnie Mac impression and be like, you're fried. Yeah. Honey Cruller. I think they are called from Tim Hortons. Yes, Tim Hortons is where I heard it from. Conrad uh, Thompson it's, was talking about. Uh, Jimmy said it's like pecan pie meets honey bun meets apple fritter minus the apples. What's the deal with the room? Oh, I missed it. Well, home sagger, I'm. It's all good. You can't. I, I don't take offense did, to anything Jamie, like that. Jamie, did you change so. settings on the live? We can't block or mute anymore. Well, I didn't do nothing, MB. Jimmy, are you? Jimmy, can you go on TikTok and see if you could block someone? The last time I was in there, I could I could only mute somebody. Oh, actually, heck, you could do it. Look for a bad comment and try to mute them. I don't know why. What happened, MB? Lots of sugar. I want to try a bear. Hello, Leo. I didn't even see you in here, girl. I'm sure someone has said something negative about me or you. Well, no, somebody said that's disrespect that's disrespectful to your wife talking about a threesome. Oh yeah, who said that? Home stagger stage stager design. I don't think it's disrespectful. And what's the name? Home stager design. Home stager design? I don't I don't I don't give two shits what you think. How about them my Oh! Hello guys. Jamie's taking a page out of my book. Look at that. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, so when I do it, you can't say a damn thing. Okay. Hmm, no, Jamie. Shh. Fair enough. Same damn thing. Thank you. Corellas are different. Come again. Ooh, Corellas are good too. Oh, Corellas like, was my oh, favorite. Oh, I love Corellas. Have you had elephant ears? Never had no. no. Go, Jamie. My mute button is fine still. Okay, so MB's the only one that can't do nothing. MB, yeah, did you I don't do know something? Why. Anything? I didn't do nothing to MB. No. Girl, we did not do anything to you. I can only mute. I had an issue a while back because Jamie had made me a mod. And then I couldn't mute or do anything. Yeah, it even says MB's a mod still. It does say you're a mod. Every time you comment, it says mod. Moderator, just like it does for Prissy. Are those wiener cheese cups still cooking? No, brother. They're good. They're, they're right here. They're not as crispy as I wanted them. I don't know. Maybe you have to do it again. Kaki, when your hand oh, goes no. up, Jamie's mouth goes, you wish. Don't try to take take my thing. <laughs> What's up, friends? Hello. Hello, Ethan. Hello, Princess Pants. Yeah, MB, I don't know what's going on, girl. That happened to me a while back. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Where he had to, like, remod me, which is weird. I don't know why. 
How is your chicken? Oh, my chicken's good. Are you going to eat it all? I went to the, the dentist thing? today. You did? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I went, well, it was a dental or uh, oral surgeon. Oral surgeon. Mm -hmm. And uh, she offered to give me an x ray for free, but I was kind of strapped on time. I said, I have a question for you, and I told her what happened. And I see her all the time. Okay. So she knows me. And uh, I said, I have a question for you. I said, I said my root canal f fell out, which I don't think that was the right thing I said. And she corrected me. Your post fell out. That's what she said. She corrected me. She goes, let me take a look. And then she looked. She goes, she goes all right, you want to sit down for a quick x-ray? I'm like, I don't have time. And then the, I guess like uh, the secretary. She, she was going to give you a free x-ray? Hold on. She goes, uh, the, the secretary comes over. She goes, let me just, you know, get your information. And then she's like, do you have dental insurance? I said, I said nope. And she goes, I'm not going to charge you. She goes, just, oh. so she goes, she goes, when you, when you can just come in, I'll give you a, a quick x-ray. It'll take five minutes. So. Well, there you go. I think I'm going to get my tooth filled, uh, fixed. Fixed, yeah. And she'll probably give you a plan. That's what, yeah. Where you have to just, you know, pay it off. Nothing is ever quick at the dentist? Nothing is ever. Are you going to eat ever all those? Ever quick at the dentist. Are you going to eat all those hot dogs? I only have four. And I might make more. We'll see. We'll see. I have, I, I, uh. Hello, Nelson. Hi, Nelson. How are you, man? Hey, Nelson. Yeah, very happy, Tracy. Nelson, any updates? You know, I'm, I'm dying to know. Why don't you shoot a message instead of drinking something like that up? Because I know. I just want a simple yes or no. And then I, I ultimately expect a message. <laughs> Privately. Got it set to 720 now. Try coming back in and out. It's on like 720 on the end. Maybe mess around with it. Her plate looks way better than the hot dogs. Ah, oh, well, you know what? Green beans? I mean, Can yeah, maybe my chicken looks better, but... See, I don't think so. I think my cheesy hot dogs and ketchup... <laughs> uh, look, can I try yours? Can you cut me off a piece? Yeah, I think it's good. It's, it's a little spicy, but... I'm a simple man that just likes hot dogs and Cheetos. I think the filling is what makes my chicken good. Yeah. That's a big piece. This is what the inside of Kaki's... You have to have the filling. The filling, it's what makes the chicken. I know, this chicken. is what the inside of Kaki's chicken looks like. What is in here? Spinach and onions? Spinach, onions, mushrooms, it's ricotta pretty cheese, ricky. and mozzarella cheese. Heck yes, green beans. I'm in... I'm not hating on the hot dogs. It's okay. It's okay if you were. Oh, yeah, the green beans are delicious. I love green beans. I could eat green beans every single day. What are you doing? Making sure your chicken's cooked all the way. It is cooked. Why? It does, because it tastes different. I have a hard time chewing Oh, I have chicken. roasted red peppers in here, too. I, You know how I have a hard time... Uh, chewing like chicken, like yeah, chicken. that's my like chicken tender. That's like nice and because I put so much filling in there, mm. that made the that. chicken not like dry. This is a very forgetting Sarah Marsh Marshall relationship. <laughs> uh, love hot dogs. Split the mashed potatoes and cheese. How many miles do you run in a day? Seven. You don't have to go to the dentist until February. I keep getting reminders for the dentist for me. Okay, yeah, I think before we go, I'm going to get this, this done with. And I'm just like, mm, I don't want to go to the dentist. Uh, thank you, Captain Zokov. I, uh... Well, thank you very much. I think... How you do? Here's what I think I should do. I think I want I want a per, I want a, I want a, I want a, I want a million dollar smile. You know that. That's. I, I think I and want. I a want million, a mommy makeover. So. I think I want a million dollar smile more than I want abs. I think I want a mommy makeover that more than you? more than you need a million dollar smile. First of all, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. No one. Listen. Would that surprise you? I birthed you? two children. I deserve a mommy makeover. Would that surprise you? What? If a genie in a bottle just popped out. And said, Jamie, you can pick one, and I'll give it to you right now. Perfect smile or abs? What do you, 
deep. Would you be surprised if I said... Perfect smile? Perfect smile? No. Even though I've been talking about abs for like the last five years? Only because you're always talking about your, how your teeth, you don't like your teeth. Hmm? You talk all the time about how you don't like your teeth. I hate my teeth. There's nothing wrong with your teeth. There's nothing wrong with your teeth. Yes, there is, Peggy. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. The bottom, there, there is, and then I got the little gap in the thing. What's wrong with the bottom? Hold on. Hold on. What's wrong with the... What, first of all... Okay, wait, we're not talking about my teeth. I'm just saying... I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying... Um, well, that wouldn't surprise you? You were always saying how you wanted new teeth. You wanted well, new teeth, and I was always saying how I wanted a mommy makeover, and you're like, oh, I, I'm getting my new teeth before you get that. I am. <laughs> but you're not. You would too, Nelson? Yeah, some it goes, perfect smile goes a long way. You could show the perfect smile off in a in, a, in an office building, on a construction site, uh, in a gas station, whatever. The only way you're showing off your abs is at a beach or a pool party, or if you're that dude that walks into the into a room mm. and says, "Yeah, look at this," sprays the hot stuff on you so it glistens and. Just, oh, look at this washboard ab. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I just need a mommy makeover just because I had two kids and I want to feel good about myself. Hey, well, if you could get a, if you could get a payment plan on this mommy makeover, let's do it. Okay? Well, you can get a payment plan on your teeth, too. I know. I'm going to do it. I'm not paying th 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 that amount of money to get the teeth done. I will pay that amount of money to have my mommy makeover. Yep. Well. Lump sum, boom, done. Let's go. That means no Florida this year. How bad do you want your mommy makeover? Hey, I wonder if it's cheaper in Florida to get a mommy makeover. I want to get it done here. <laughs> After listening to BJ's horror story about the dentist, I'm getting my teeth done up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that, that that dentist horror story was terrible. I had oh six years god. of braces and a headgear. What constitutes a mommy makeover? So after you've had a kid, um, your body is not the same. Some women, not all women. Mm. Some women bounce back at it. Yeah, well, guess what? Most women don't. Most women don't. I feel like my friend, who's pregnant right now, my best friend, I feel like... That's cheese, not hair. She's going to Bye, be... Bye, Felicia. <laughs> she... That's what. That's her name. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Oh, why, Felicia? She thinks. <laughs> she thinks that this is hair, but it's no, cheese. No, it's cheese. Yeah, no, I was it's saying. Cheese. It's cheese, girl. How much of those? I think what? that's funny. Your name is by Felicia. <laughs> that's hilarious. Feels but so I feel like better. she's going to be the person that bounces back, like after having a baby. Never even look like. Nelson, hold pregnant. on. I was not one of those girls. I was not lucky enough. Either time. To be that lucky. So I need my makeover. I need my my boobies put back up where they belong, <clears throat> and I want all of my extra skin removed. It's that simple. How do you do? You remember I this? I remember. To, I I could be wrong though. Nelson has uh, he feels better about himself and he smiles more now than ever. Brand new teeth is the best. Nelson, did we have this conversation on here before? I might be thinking about somebody else. Did you tell the story that you got new teeth? I remember talking to someone and I was Nelson asking... Nelson did get new teeth. Okay. Okay. He did. After he gave up crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Nelson. Well, no. Nelson never did crack. I'm joking. <laughs> Sounds expensive. And he don't know that. He could have. Yeah. It is expensive, but you know what? Sometimes you need to spend money to make yourself feel better. Was 103 and I hemorrhaged? I'm yeah, so crack is whack. You know what, Jimmy? I actually just saw the no, inter so I'm just messing the with you, interview buddy. with Diane Sawyer and and um <laughs> and Whitney from many, many, many years ago, and she's like, I didn't do crack. Crack is whack. <laughs> I was dying laughing. Cortland, how much weight did you how much weight did you lose that you've got loose skin going? Throw Nelson on the bus like that. I don't think he threw Nelson on the bus. I said I was playing. And he even said I had to give it up sometime. I could see Nelson. A lift? I could no, see Nelson he, in the I, Hold on. I could see Nelson in the alleyway warming up his hands over one of those 
barrels with the fire in it. <laughs> that thing was crazy. And then, and then gives his little finger a little. Oh my God. Gives his his finger a little. Th oh, that might be cocaine. What is? How do you do crack? Do you do that? You anything? smoke crack. Do you do? Do you, do you smoke crack? You or? smoke it. You put oh, it. Oh yeah, in you a put it in a spoon. Thing, you smoke put it in a little spoon. And no, that's heroin. Then what do you do? When, how do you do crack? You smoke it. I don't know. I've never done it. Oh, all right. But I know that you smoke it. So I had three C sections and would love a tummy tuck girl. Listen, Sherry, Sherry, she. Well, I'm gonna call you Sherry. I had two C sections, so yeah. I would love a tummy tuck. Portland's down sixty five pounds. Need to lose another forty. Do you have a lot of do you have, do you have a lot of loose skin? Hey guys, what's up, Victor? Listen, if you've had a C section, you know. That no matter how much weight you lose, you're going to have like that little poof, that little poof, and it's never gonna go away because you were cut in a certain area, and you're just gonna have that poof. <clears throat> Hello, Chunk That's Punk. why I want the mommy makeover because I'm very disappointed with that. Hey, Munchkin, backs. <clears throat> Oh, my milk. I have the double wave from weight loss. What is the double wave? Rolls? Double wave. Rosie loves fries. I like your name. Someone came in here before and said, I love pizza. Something love pizza. First time catching a live. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Hello. How are you? Two C sections. You know how uncomfortable. Listen, I bet for you ladies that's had C sections, it's not. That a other woman, she had three. God right. bless her. I don't want another one. Mm -mm, I'm good. And what I'm saying is I know it's not a comfortable feeling, but if you're a man in here and you were sitting by your wife or your girlfriend or the girl you got pregnant, all right, during the C-section. Now, they have a curtain up. Now, but if I wanted to be, you know, nosy, I could have looked up at the, at the lamp thing and see the reflection. And once I realized I could do that, it was really hard for me just to keep my head down keep my head down and like looking at the table looking at the table looking because i didn't want to take a chance it's like one of those bad car accidents you don't want to look but you keep jamie on looking, does right? not like anything gory he, no. he can't like stand in like blood or anything like that nope my first c-section i actually watched my son being born when you wave hello because okay. of the way that the light was tilted the stainless steel on the light i was actually able to like watch oh. them like your body turns black yeah, no, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to gross anybody out, but like, watch Hold them on, do Jimmy. that, do that, and then pull my son out. <laughs> All right, so. I did watch it. Mr. Jimmy Jam says, cacking in her two C-sections. Tell her, Jamie, and I had my toenail fall off. Talk to me when part of your body turns black and dies. That sounds gross. And that happens to me every three months. My toenails fall off. They turn black and Talk they die. Talk to me when you bleed for no damn reason. Mm. How about... Talk to me. Tell me your name. Switching sides like a hurricane. Exactly, Prissy. Our bodies are amazing. You don't Came like green beans. Sorry you don't like green beans, but I love yeah, green beans. Yeah, baby. Green beans are delicious. Talk to Especially me. Especially with garlic. Tell me your sound. Who loves Ricky Martin, huh? Right? Jamie, mm -hmm. I had my breakfast for dinner tonight, and it was delicious. I got inspired by your post the other day. Well, I'm happy you liked it. Jamie, you starting to get full? No, I'm taking my time because I only have four hot dogs. I'm starting to get full. <laughs> I really wasn't that hungry to begin with, but I didn't expect, like, my chicken to, like, bulk up the way it did after I freaking stuffed it. I could, listen, I could do damage with just hot dogs. And notice I don't have french fries. I had I had four hot dogs, four hot dog cups, cheese cups, and then two baby bags of Cheetos. Hello, cat mom. Hi, cat mom. Uh, a toenail falling off isn't any comparison to getting your gut cut open. Oh, Tracy, me and Jimmy Jam, no. We just like to mess around with khaki. Yeah. They like to really grind my gears. <laughs> That's what they like to do. They like, you know, push that. Push, push Kaggy over the edge to see when she snaps. 
I went through a lot of your videos and people are pretty harsh. Yes. Agreed. I don't think anybody, and I mean this, I don't think anybody that hates me really hates me. I think that they like busted balls. I think I have that, that, that very rare quality of a person that, uh, like I was talking about before, the whole car accident, you don't want to look, but you keep on, keep on looking. I think I have that quality. I don't think it's hate. I don't think it's hate. It might be, but I don't think it is. See, Tony, my first one was an emergency. My second one was scheduled. Um, I didn't want to take the chance the second time. Having to deal with what I did the first time after laboring for like, I don't know, two, three days. I don't want to have to go, that, go through that again. What? Was that towards me? Jimmy told me to hit the F button. Why would I hit the F button for you? I didn't even, I don't even know what you were talking about. Okay. I thought I was talking about that and then you hit that. What'd you say? I was like, I was reading my first, my first C-section was kind of an emergency and yeah. the second one was scheduled and then you hit the poop button and I was just oh, like, that was just bad timing. I was listening. That was really bad timing. I had, well, Jimmy said hit the F button and if you're new in here first time, we have, we have a, uh, a curse word button and then we have a poop button. This is the emergency. It was for me, Kathy missed it. Okay. Okay. You just, you know what? Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, this one's for you. I Just that, because it's been a while. I think it's dead. You try it. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> you get three. <laughs> First one's dead, damn it. I don't even know if we could change these. Oh, there's batteries. Who the hell would take my batteries out? Those are triple A's. Are they? We don't have those. <laughs> okay, so we got a battery thief in this house. Ain't that some horse shit. Well, Jimmy just texted me. Hold on. Hi, Grace. Hold on. Be right back. I moved batteries. Just as she used to get next to Jimmy. <laughs> yes, you know what, Jimmy? You definitely deserve that button. 100... And 55% deserved. I don't have batteries. I thought I did. Um, those are triple A's. We don't have those. We have double A's. Well, I did something. I did see, I remember, do, I do remember seeing triple A batteries. They are interested in you, Jamie. Hey, Jamie and Gaggy. Uh, yeah, no, I know. I, I don't pay them mind anymore. Some things are hurtful. But at the same time, uh... It's entertaining to read. Some of them gets me laughing. <laughs> it was Bob, Jamie, that he came back and took your batteries. That <laughs> came from Chrissy. <laughs> we got to find out It was who took Bob. my damn batteries. Bob did it. Hey, from Alaska. Hello. Bob took it when we flushed him down the toilet. Yeah. That, does any... I'm, listen, I'm sure at least one person <laughs> in this stream right now has someone that lives in their household that's a little battery thief. I need batteries for this. True, need... here, here's a true story. When we lived, when we came back here the first time, your brother, Fred, stole the batteries out of our remote for our TV in the room. Yeah. And I called him out because he was looking for batteries, looking for batteries, and nobody had batteries. I went into our room to turn the TV on. Our batteries were missing. Uh. I went and knocked on his door. I'm like, you steal my batteries? And he was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you stole my batteries. <laughs> when are we putting up the tree? <laughs> we don't have a tree. We don't have a tree. What are you talking about? Christmas tree? We have a Christmas tree. Got returned. The LED one. Oh, that's right. Damn um, it. We returned that one. So let me tell you guys a story. I don't know if you remember and if you've been following me for a while. We The Christmas tree we had last year was one of those fancy schmancy LED ones that is not Christmas feeling at yeah, all. No. I don't like it. I hate it. Uh, turns out that one of the parts that needed to be replaced after the first week, you can't just order that part. Nope. <laughs> so we're like, this makes, this makes no sense. You have to... Well, yeah, the can't... part was like not... You can't even order the part. The part was just like obsolete at this point. Yeah, and it, it made no sense. So that got returned. So we spent like that much money on a freaking tree. Well, 
my mom that you couldn't even my dad like, did. Yeah, that you couldn't even like replace a part for. It, I'm happy. I hated that tree. I, you know what? I didn't hate the tree. Hated it. I thought the tree was cool. That was like cool a, to look at. That was like an outside tree. And the tree What's up, Dalton? Cool to Toys. The only thing these days batteries are used for very limited, but mostly mostly stops. Cut a real one down together. Khaki won't do Cut a, real a real tree. I can't do a real tree. The smell of real tree makes me sick. My husband gives me a huge headache. He says he falls asleep. He works too much. Yeah. Me and Khaki eat together. Oh, you got an eight foot MB? That's every awesome. Every single night. I would like to do a real tree one day. You guys need to dip. get a tree from Hobby Lobby or Home Depot. Listen, Home Depot and like Lowe's, they do have really nice Christmas trees. And we bought Christmas trees from there before. Mm -hmm. We had this really beautiful Martha Stewart one. We don't have it anymore. Oh, I know. That was my favorite one. Martha Stewart Christmas tree, and it had like pine cones on it, and it had like the little like frosted tips on like like leaves on like. That was my favorite one. You guys can totally make a Christmas tree. tree look awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm very good at decorating a Christmas tree. That's number one. Number two, um, when we buy our own Christmas tree for next year when we're in Florida, it's gonna have to be as much as a. It's gonna it's be. It's not gonna be a palm tree. No, it's gonna be as it's much of a New a York Christmas City. Tree. Yeah, it's gonna be a New York City. Uh, snowy Christmas vibe. Uh, the only difference is we're gonna be in Florida. So you look outside, you see palm trees. You look in the living room, you see New York City. Um, but yeah, I, I you know, I, I want to get the green one with the colored lights, and then I want the snow frosted branches. That's a Christmas tree. What about a black tree? They're prettier than you think. Decorated, honestly. I'm gonna call you Bella because I'm not gonna pronounce the rest of your name. I've never even like seen like a black Christmas tree. It's probably really nice to look at, but uh, yeah, at the same time, not really Christmassy feeling. Yeah, I've never seen a black Christmas tree. Like I've seen like those white ones. I don't want a white. Christmas a purple tree. tree, Tracy wants. No, I if want my a trees regular. Going up on Saturday, I hope at least it'll be up until. I would like a regular MLK Christmas weekend. Tree. That's my norm. MLK weekend. So Christmas, New Year's, Easter. The hell's MLK weekend? MLK weekend? Jimmy. I want to put... What? Yeah, my what's daughter. MLK weekend? MLK. MLK. Martin Luther King. Thank you, Percy. Ah, thank you. When is that? When is Martin Luther King Day? I believe that's in February. Hmm. Read. I saw it. <laughs> Halloween slash Christmas tree. Oh, it's in January. I thought it was in February. It's usually the second Monday of January. Wow, you take it down that early, huh? <clears throat> I think a tree should be f kept up the whole January. Um, you think the tree should be kept up the whole damn year. Because I took it down in March and you yelled at me. Oh, I flipped out. Kegi, I don't know. Jackie does it when I'm not home and I can't do nothing about oh, it. Oh, no, you were home and I was taking it down and you called me up. What did you call me? A Grinch. You called me something. I don't think it was a Grinch. What else would I call you? I don't use the see you next Tuesday. No, word. I think you called me a murderer. <laughs> a murderer? <laughs> you called me something. <laughs> you called me something. I was just like, it's March. I was insulted that you took it down. I'm sorry, it was March. Mm. It was March. It's not like I took it down, like, the day after Christmas or, like, the mid-January. Like, I like to leave the tree up until, I don't know, February. And that's when the tree comes down. But I left the tree up longer. And he got mad because I took it down. Me too, Ashley. I'm a Christmas guy. Hence, look at my, look at my kitchen. <laughs> look at my kitchen. If you, and then if you, if, you, if you guys were in here last night and I showed you what, what, what we're looking at, I've got lights on everything. i got lights on all my ring lights. I have lights going around my monitor. You leave it up until February. Yeah, I usually leave it up until like the first week of February. Yeah. 
I'm I gonna, took it down in March, and I got I, I was berated by seeing, Jamie. I'm gonna make a homemade chandelier. I got so many ideas, creations that I could do. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Cannot wait. I keep seeing like these DIY like lollipops from like Dollar Tree, like the big ones. Kits? No, like you take two bowls. You hot glue them together, and you take cellophane and like a broomstick, and you cut like the broom part off. Take everything down before make, New Year's, and then you can make like a big giant lollipop, like for the for the lawn. I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. I would like to do that. Bronze, you treat like a wrestling belt. You take everything down before New Year's. Kind of, what kind of animal are you? See, now he got mad when I took crap down in freaking March. New Year's. Mm -mm. Oh, I could never, I could never be, I have another piece, Go you ahead. cut it for me so I don't ruin it. How are you going to um, ruin it? You can't really ruin it. Kaki, when I cut your stuff, you always tell me I'm doing it, you know, I'm messing something up. I'm full, so you can have whatever you want. Nah, I'm just going to dip it. I still got a little bag of baby Cheetos, thank you. Um, you might want to dip it in the sauce. What sauce? That one. You remind me of the babe. <laughs> what babe? How of voodoo? Who do you do? You remind me of the Your Halloween decorations are still up until after Thanksgiving. Well, that's fine, too. Maybe two weeks after New Year's. Even my mom. I don't think my mom's ever taken the tree down past the second week of January. For me, growing up, our tree did not go up until, like, two weeks before Christmas. Yeah, that's... You must have not lived in a Christmas family, family Christmas. My grandmother was like huge on Christmas. My grandfather was just like, you're not putting the tree up yet. You're not putting it up yet. You no, know, he's a Grinch. <laughs> he probably was the Grinch. He's Looking Grinch. back now, yes, he probably was the Grinch. Because my grandmother loved Christmas. She had like this huge train set that went around the tree. Yeah. She had like the village set up. Like she had like a whole little snow it. village. If you're a Christmas guy or gal... Okay, Christmas trees go up when Halloween is over. <laughs> once no, the, once no, once once the spooky decorations come down, the orange lights get put away, the colored ones come out. See, court for us, like when we had our own place, the tree went up. I'm listening to the tree went up Thanksgiving night. Lights on, decorated, end of story. Every Thanksgiving. Yes, it's Christmas time. Much week for On Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving night, you eat your big-ass turkey dinner. Tree goes up, you decorate it, and yeah, tis the season. Tis the season. I think once it's once it's supposed to be cold, once it's cold... Well, it's already been cold. It's Christmas. Listen, because no one's going to be happy cold. Nobody's happy What's going to make you happier happy. if you're cold? I'm cold? Christmas lights. Christmas lights make it bearable. Mm -hmm. They definitely make it beautiful because they're pretty, and you just want to kind of look at them and gaze at them because they're pretty. Bullshit! A week before Christmas, yeah, I know what kind of Christmas person you are, John. My mom and aunt have a race. Hold on, is that <laughs> Christmas in July? My mom and my aunt have a race to put up their tree every year. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, don't worry until Christmas Eve trip. Cheryl, I believe that. I know, I know, I know those kinds of people. I know those kinds of people. People though. on Staten Island have their Christmas stuff outside already. Yeah. We're decorated outside already. Yeah, we're decorated. <laughs> we're decorated outside already. Looks actually very nice. We have a big, big old, uh, we actually, I'm not going to say, but yeah, we got something big. Sad. After Thanksgiving, only it's real. Hello, Care Bear. How are you, girl? How you doing, girl? <laughs> Jimmy Jam. Talking to John. About. Cruise up in July. Week. I've heard of Christmas in July. We keep it up. Oh, Christmas in July happens on QVC every single year. So Christmas in July is like a real thing. QVC? Yeah, QVC. What is that? That's like a shopping network thing that my grandmother oh. used to watch. They used to have like Christmas in July special. Where she would buy it like a whole bunch of stuff. Huh. And then hide it from my grandfather. And then used to pay it off with like money orders and not a check. <laughs> well, I, I John, John, I feel bad for you True there. True story. 
I feel you, but I don't know, man. There's something about being cold, being snowy, having Christmas decorations up. I've Christmas never had to do song. that. Never had to do that. No, no, I'm trying to explain the, the Christmas spirit. That's what it is. It's a feeling that you get, you know, that nothing else can give you that feeling. No matter what is going on with you at the at the moment, if you're by yourself, you're just having one of those, you know, kick rocks kinds of days, and it's just you feel like the days is beating you up. But if it's cold out, it's dark out, and you see Christmas lights, it's nice. You kind of just take a deep breath and you look around. It makes you automatically put you in a good mood. And Court just said QVC is why I was in debt for many years. Yeah, that makes you buy things. QVC like they. They're like masters on selling you crack. They are masters. Yeah, Jimmy says when we go to Florida, Christmas tree should be up in July. What? See, here's the thing. The when we go to Florida, I think our Christmas tree is going to be up all year round. <laughs> but then, I don't think, I don't think it's going to feel so special. So it's going around. No, that's, we have all these. These lights are very cozy. This is a very nice, comfortable vibe. We don't, you know... I mean, I have a Christmas tree right here that's up all year round. You guys can see it. I'll show you. This is up all year round. This goes behind our TV. It lights up. <laughs> um, I have it. I have it right above, right next have, to, right above the candy lights. I have everything anyone could possibly want. <laughs> Why? Well, because you bought it off of QVC? Yeah, because they're masters at selling crap, people. I've never bought anything from QVC. I know my grandmother used to shop on there all the time. Is that from Avon? QVC was like... I think CVS. What was on the TV. No, Walgreens, I Care Bear. I was a kid. Yeah, I got that at Walgreens last... Last November. Jamie wants the tree to go up. And wants you to get snuggled up under the tree for you using to sing Santa Baby. Santa Baby. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> Hello, beach girl. I love that ceramic tree. Yeah, I got it because my grandmother, when I was little, my grandmother had one, and it was bigger. It was like uh, it's like maybe this wide, and then off the table was about this high, and it was ceramic. It was nice though, and she always had it right by the front door when you would first walk in in Georgia. It was like always right to your right on this on this desk. And that was her Christmas tree. She didn't put a real Christmas tree up because she was older and she was sick. Nah. But when I saw that, it automatically reminded me of it. And if you remember, I saw a very fancy ceramic Christmas tree with all the Disney uh, grates um, on the choo-choo trains that go around when you plug it in. It was Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Piglet. And then it was, I think the top layer was Mickey and Minnie. There was a Goofy and, Don, and um, Donald Duck. Back in the day, Avon sold big ones. And that's ones. what I wanted to get. They're vintage now. What? Well, Care Bear had said back in the day, Avon's, Avon sold big ones. They were, they're vintage now. Hey, remember uh, I Edward Scissorhands? Avon. She was a door-to-door -door girl. Avon calling. Yeah, I used to sell Avon. You used to do that? In my college years, but it wasn't like door to door. It was more like you'd hand out like your little, your little gift booklets, like, and you leave them in people's mailboxes and oh. stuff. Yeah, I did that. Wasn't very profitable. <laughs> Always remember changing the bowl. Changing the bowl. See, now that ceramic tree that we have in the back, I don't know if everybody can see it, but... I just showed it. My grandmother had a rather large one. She probably had the same one that my grandma uh, had. A big one. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, the big one. Uh -huh. It was huge. And that's what I remember from my childhood. So when Jamie brought, oh, that, no, when Jamie brought that home, I was just like, oh my God. That's like my childhood, right there. They had a white one, too. Where'd you get the headband, Jamie? I made it. Homemade. Do you like it? I'm getting into some... Uh, 
I'm dabbling in some things and see what I could do with, you know, not having to go anywhere and go out and buy something. And so far, so good. And B said, my grandma sold Avon. You had those miniature sample lipsticks. <laughs> Here's the thing. Hello, Caroline. I love mini samples. So when I did sell Avon, I used to buy... This one? All of those little mini samples to put in wh whomever, like, purchased anything from me. Just because I love getting samples of anything. So when I sold Avon, that's what I did. <coughs> yeah, I, uh... I got the friends because this was originally a t-shirt. I got it at Target and then I cut it into a, a gym tank top. And then I don't know what happens. After a while, I keep on cutting the shirts lower and lower and lower until eventually uh, they get way too damn low. And if it were to go any lower, it, as you can see, it was getting low. Like that you might is, as well just, you know, yeah, so I, I cut, cut it, it above out. his nipples and just wear it as a hoodie like to cover his head. I did that, and I made homemade tassels, too, which you could probably see. <laughs> the homemade tassels, which is over here. Yeah, tassels. Yeah, Not on his boobies, you dirty freaks, because that's no. what you were thinking about. Hence, tassels. <laughs> hence Ultimate Warrior, Texas Tornado-esque. Love you, Percy. Thank you. All right, so here's the deal I could do. I'm hungry still. I don't want that. You don't want my green beans? No. Pardon me, guys. Let me go see what else I could eat. Uh, did you put the hot dogs away? Um, yes. Mm. I did. I guess he wants more hot dogs. I don't know. Jamie is going to leave with a t-shirt that only covers his shoulders. That's what I'm saying, Court. Jamie's eventually just going to have a t-shirt that just covers his shoulders. Because you're just going to keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Yes, people only eat once a day. For the most part. Sometimes I'll eat like in the middle of the day, but it's very rare. Same thing with Jamie, but for the most part, yeah, we only eat once. Once a day. So, here's what I have. I've got... Well, good night, John. Good night, John. Double dark... Oh, your Milano's. Chocolate Milano's. And, I, and told then... you, I told you you had Cheetos. Spicy ketchup? Eh. Yeah. Spicy ketchup? I actually like the spicy ketchup. These are very cold. I was going to try to stay away from Cheetos tonight because tomorrow's Friday and that's when I really dig in with the Cheetos. But the last couple of pizza weekends, I have not been going crazy with them. All right? Yeah. Cheetos, what are you doing? Maury had said something and I missed it. I thought you were looking to see if there was a problem. No. Maury said something and I can't find it. Hello. Where are you moving to in Florida? We're keeping that hush hush. But we're excited. I don't so know what Marie said, but I everybody kept saying Marie, you're not alone. What? Mar I don't I don't know what Marie said, but everybody kept saying Marie, you're not alone. Oh. And we love you. Did Marie? She said doesn't put up a tree because she's, oh, because al she's alone. Because she's alone. Oh, see, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Prissy. Girl, put up your tree. You're not alone. We're all here with you. I think, and I get it, there are a lot of people that are single um, or, per or purposely won't put up holiday decorations because um, maybe they just got out of a bad relationship and they don't want to be reminded of what it was like when they were in one. I 100% get it. And for me, I see it's, that's hard for me to say because if Kaki wound up leaving me for Chuck in Ohio, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could tell you, you that- right, it's for who you down the block. Whatever. <laughs> I can honestly tell you that I probably, I probably would want to put it up. 
Right? But there's a good chance I don't, because I wouldn't care. So moving from Florida, we are currently in the process of moving from Florida, tired of only one season. Where are you going? Well, I'm tired of all the seasons. So I I'm would just like... tired of being cold. Yeah, I don't want to be cold no more. I don't want to be cold. So, I want to be warm. I wonder how long it takes. Hey, babe, Samara. Hello. Uh, come up down to Florida. Hey, uh, I wonder how long it takes to get acclimated to where you start to have where it's 70 degrees is cold. Them. Um, it might be a little bit. I don't remember. My sister told me, but I forgot. I don't ever remember being too hot though down there. I remember being cold at night. Yeah, like chilly. Not chilly, but. Oh no, I was cold at night. Mm. I was cold at night. Even sitting outside, I was cold. About a year. Thank God Jamie brought all his sweaters. Yeah, I brought so Thank God he <laughs> brought all his sweaters because he. Warmed up every single one of my sisters with if, his sweaters, including me. <laughs> here's the thing. If you if you were to see me and Khaki's suitcases on their own, you would have thought my suitcase was Khaki's and Khaki's was mine. I brought so much different choices to wear that one night, uh, all the girls were cold. Oh, no. I brought choices. I just did not pack, like, hoodies or sweaters or anything like that. I, I packed summer clothes, lots and lots of them, lots of options, dresses, everything. All of Jackie's sisters was wearing my sweaters. <laughs> there was a point where we were all wearing That his, was funny. We were all wearing his sweaters, sitting on the couch, watching TV. <laughs> yeah. It was very funny. I'm like, well, thank God for this, because I'm cold. Like, I had his sweater on, and then I had a blanket on top of me. Well, it started off some one of them. I don't remember who was the first one to get cold. I think you might have been the first one. To I, get it was cold. me. So I took what I was wearing. The New Yorker the was the first one to get cold. Go figure. Cartoon of you? No. Me and Kaki didn't didn't really talk a lot today. The cartoon of you. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Did you text the Jimmy today? I told you I did. Oh, man. And he sent me this. His food. Hello, Johnny. He sent me his food. Oh. All right. I'm going to have one Milano. I'm going to finish these Cheetos. There's not a lot in here. Oh. So, we were joking yesterday about... This, beard in Maui? This being Jimmy Jam, if he were to shave his beard. Is your hair that long, Jimmy? <laughs> but that would be like Jimmy Jam. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. This one more so. Yeah, but Jimmy doesn't ever let his beard go that long, number one. And number two, I find it, I don't think Jimmy's hair is that long. Yeah, it might feel that long. Is he going on a year now? Almost a year? We joke, yeah. That they, <laughs> I just showed him. <clears throat> he said somebody was supposed to show up to his, his um, landlord. His, um, like, super was supposed to show up to, like, fix the sink. He's like, I'm not doing nothing with my hair. I'm just shoving a hat. And then he was just like, I feel like I look like a guy from, is it from cold Moana. In, is it cold in New York? Yeah. Yes. Not freezing, it's freezing not to where I was cold, hurting. cold, but... Today was nice. Yeah, today was warmer day. Today was like in the 60s. I had a nice run tonight and last night, meaning comfortable. Like I walked out last night and I think I talked about it. I was like, I bundled up. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be cold. And then the same thing tonight. And it was two, two nights in a row where it was just comfortable, very nice. The hair goes down to his chin. What? Jimmy said his hair goes down to his chin. That's if you pull it down, though, right? If you don't, if you just let it flow. Well, he has curly hair. Oh, so you have, yeah. But it's, but, okay. So, but people with curly hair, yeah. Because I have curly hair. So. I have curly hair. I have curly hair. So when I straighten my hair, it's just like, damn. I have Bret Hart strangly hair. There you go. 
My hair, takes, my hair takes forever to dry. Still wet. From Wavy my shower. hair with some curls. I think I'm going to be getting a haircut very soon. I'm going to get it chopped and layered. Right? Get some, uh, some, some, uh, volume in there. You guys got snow already? And then... Oh, did you hear about the cyclone bomb we're supposed to get? What? Yeah. A cyclone bomb. What the hell is that? They're warning people, you're going to be traveling for the holidays to leave on Friday. Sunday, the latest. I heard it on the radio this morning. I haven't heard anything about that. Cyclone bomb, it's called. We got first snow December 17th in Detroit. Elvis Duran was talking about it. Well, thank God I haven't seen snow yet because I do not like snow. I like snow. Did you do a man bun? Shave the sides of your head? <laughs> no. <laughs> I like snow like on Christmas. Christmas snow is magical and I want to see Christmas snow. That never happens. It's happened like twice Dalton in my lifetime. That the was it. Never even heard. I haven't even heard of that. I'm letting the beard go. And I'm letting the hair, like I, even underneath, I'm letting it all go. I feel go. like that's going to be just the same thing as like the tsunami that's supposed to happen. Did you hear what I said? What? For the holidays, for the last winter in New York, I'm just going to let my beard go. Let the hair go. Let everything go. And then when we show up to Florida. You're not going to clean shave. No, I didn't say that. But I'm going to get a haircut. Okay. I'm gonna get a haircut too. Yeah. I need a haircut. You should do it together. We should get matching mullets. Let's Hell go. Yeah. Let's do it. Do <laughs> matching it. mullets. You want to get a mullet? <laughs> I'm I would kidding. Get one with Obviously, you. I'm not gonna get a mullet. Yeah, Turkey Day is next week. I can't even believe that. Like that came up so quick. Jamie, you'll love this. I'm headband shopping. LOL. Have to order some. There you go. I do love that. <laughs> I'm getting into... Aw, Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm getting into making my own now. Yeah, he's making his own headbands. Custom headbands. I'm getting better at it. Marie said, don't cut your hair. I don't want him to cut his hair either. Kathy's going to get the Christy Mac. Mac it up. Shave one side. One of your head. I didn't like that on her. I will never, ever, ever shave my head. Nope. Christy Mack has the one side. She has like one side she, shaved yeah, no. up. And then it's, it's like a, it's like a overdue. Marie, I'm not cutting it, cutting it. I'm getting it chopped and layered. He needs a trim. Listen, Kaki brushes my hair and it comes down to like my middle of my back. Yeah, he's got, it's long, but um, his ends are dead. They need to be cut bad just like my ends need to be cut and i cut my ends like on a daily bit uh, i cut my ends like monthly i usually take a scissor to my own hair and cut it myself what happens if you don't cut your ends off what's wrong what's wrong with that um remember that massive knot that you had in your head yeah they had to go to that hair stylist for yeah that's why because if you have dead ends like that you get, you, you get more knots because you have a split ends. I also don't go to the extent of brushing my hair every single night. Yeah, exactly. They tangle. Sometimes oh. I get out of yeah, the shower. Yeah, he doesn't brush his hair. That's the problem. I brush my hair. I just don't brush it every night. Sometimes mm -hmm. I get out of the shower if I'm running slow. If I'm running slow on time, I dry my head with a towel for the most part, and I plop on the headband. And then I have to blow dry my face mm -hmm. and my body before I do makeup. Because when I'm wet, the makeup doesn't doesn't it doesn't stick right. So sometimes I don't brush my hair; I just put a headband on. And that's why you have knots. Mm -hmm. It's all about time, Kaki. I'm I'm. Confident. I understand that, but you know, I brush my hair like three, four, five times a day. Make an auction. Make an auction on the what? <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
make an auction on live and sell them what our hair. <laughs> How do you do your hair for work? It goes in a bun. Um, you're looking at it. This is how I go to work. Yeah, Kaki does makeup and puts her hair down. I wear my hair just like this. I put a headband on and put my hair in a bun. And I put some makeup on and I go about my day. And we're good. The what? The headbands. <laughs> the headbands? I don't think anybody would want to buy. Listen, these headbands are as ghetto as humanly possible. It might look nice, but. You don't even want to know what holds those headbands together. <laughs> it's, it's rigged. <laughs> it's Jamie rigged to the T. You guys know I work with a lot of duct tape. I'm not saying this is duct tape. <laughs> But I'm saying it's rigged. It's like it's not. This shit's not sewn together. I don't know how to sew. <laughs> I know how to sew. You gonna make me a headband every night? No. Uh, we don't got time for that. No, we don't. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I'm not I selling. Know. Them. I'm not selling. You these. said these you don't know me. how to sew, and I said I know how to sew. Yeah. I know how to sew. My mom taught me. I'm not selling them, like the ones I make. No, you can't sell those. <laughs> you can't sell those. I think someone would buy them. Oh, you, you, that's, yes. And then they, they would get it in the mail. Yes, like, what the could, fuck is this? But not the way that you make it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see the person's face when they open it and they see how I made it. Because you could say, ah, oh, it's nice, and then you really got to look at it. <coughs> Don't wash it, guys. Don't wash it. <laughs> Call himself an island boy. Because I'm an island boy. You ready for bed? Yes. Alright. Happy stream? I thought it was a good one. It was fun. It took a couple minutes to get into Try it, but we did it eventually. Alright. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. Heck, I haven't just picked out a Milano's like that in a long, long time. Like, I don't think I've ever done it like that. I just put in your frame. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night, guys.